these siblings appear perfectly healthy. But a year ago, 10-year-old Timo nearly went into a coma. He suffers from juvenile diabetes, the causes of which are in part hereditary. This fate could well befall his sister Tamara too, though she doesn't have the disease yet. Timo has to measure his blood sugar levels before every meal. Because he has diabetes, his body isn't capable of producing enough insulin to regulate the metabolism of the sugar. <laughs> Timo tells us that his blood sugar level is 233, and that's pretty high. So he has to inject a larger dose of insulin. Otherwise, after he eats, his blood sugar levels will become dangerously elevated. Five or six times a day, he has to inject insulin into his abdomen, according to a strict schedule. Diabetes is a burden for Timo's family, too. Your child has a disease and you know it won't go away. Diabetes isn't the kind of illness where you say, we'll go to the hospital, take some pills and then it's over with. It's a lifelong condition. All you can do is get a handle on it and that can wear you down. The family is taking part in a unique study in an effort to prevent Timo's sister from getting the disease. Researchers at this university clinic in Munich are trying to find ways to inhibit diabetes early on. The first thing they do is analyze the sibling's genes. The results are conclusive. Till, the youngest child, won't get diabetes. But Tamara is shown to have the same gene as Timo. That gives her a 50-50 chance of becoming a diabetic. A daily dose of insulin powder, taken in something like yogurt, might keep Tamara from getting the disease. It's a preventive method now being tested on children at risk who have yet to show symptoms of diabetes. You can think of it as a vaccination that's meant to stimulate the immune system. Here we're trying to build up the protective T-cell count, which is much too low in diabetics. Tamara is still free of diabetes symptoms. If she and the other children in the study remain healthy, it will be a milestone in the war against diabetes and provide a cost-effective treatment model for the world.